Hi, I'm Sana and we are doing a bit of a bookish organizational video today. I got this idea from a booktuber called Annie McNulty, whose channel I've started watching in the last few months and you should definitely go check her out. I loved this video idea and immediately my hands started itching and I wanted to do the same thing because it is all about clearing out your digital TBR. So whatever platform you're on, I'm on the story graph. I imported all my Goodreads data, put it in the story graph. I started that to be read list probably in like 2009. I think it starts during my first year of uni as an English lit student. And I just need to go through and figure out what is on there. Get rid of potentially a few hundred books, but we'll see how far we get. Before we begin that, this is a total side note, but I thought you might enjoy. I'm filming this on a Sunday and I actually spent my entire morning queuing for a ceramic sale from a ceramicist I love. I thought there was just gonna be a few people there, but there were so many people and the queue was so long. It was like seconds and samples, which meant it was cheaper. I just wanna show you the bowls I got. I feel like there should be a bit of an overlap between ceramics lovers and people who watch my channel. So this is the first little bowl. It has quite a lot of like variety on it, which I loved. The texture of this is really, really nice little black bowl. This will be my porridge bowl. One of my favorite food places in London is 26 Grains and they serve their porridge from plates that have a similar texture to this and it's so satisfying. Anyway, that's the highlight of my day. All right, and now I'm gonna go to my TBR. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're now recording the whole screen. So let's go. Earliest added. As you can see, I have 688 books on there. I would like to have not 688. If they're not either books I'm going to forget or books that aren't like in the next like 100, 200 books I want to read, I might just get rid of them. So something like East of Eden, that is not a direct book I want to read and it's not one I'm going to forget about either. That's a Dutch book I want to read. Clockwork Orange, eh, it's fine. We're moving. Lolita I have and I would still like to read at some point. Uh, Night Circus, I don't think this one's for me. I know everyone loves it. I read a tiny bit of it. I don't think it's for me. Uh, the Help, I am removing that from the list. I'm not interested in that anymore. Ooh, Is That a Fish in Your Ear is a book about translation, nonfiction. Still interested in that. Catching Fire, I don't know why this is on my to read. I'm just gonna put that on red and then figure that out later to make sure it's not in my like read this year. Uh, we will not be reading The Casual Vacancy by She Who Must Not Be Named. Observations, I think I still, oh, do I think I got rid of that. I don't remember it. I won't remember it. I won't miss it. Resistance I used to have. Is it kind of time travel related to a town with only women during the Second World War, something like that. I might get rid of that too. This is going very well. Uh, Cannery Row, now we're getting rid of some Steinbeck. Emily Dickinson poems, yes, yeah, still interested. Amelia Ann is dead and gone. I know it was really, really popular in like early YA days. I still have a copy and I read a bit of it and I think I'm not that interested, so I'm getting rid of this. This is very fun. Shades of Grey, I got rid of that physical book, so I guess it's it's going off the uh, TBR. I, I decided that a long time ago. On the Road is one that I would like to read at some point. I have a really beautiful edition of this, but I feel like it's quite a um, not very common one. So I'm just gonna switch to this edition. The Riverside Chaucer. Okay, so now we're getting to some books I had to read for uni. Um, I will not be reading all of the Riverside Chaucer. I, I read some of it during my degree. Common Reader by Virginia Woolf. I think I've read some, not all. I don't think I actually have this anymore. So I'm going to remove it. Brides had revisited. Yeah, I have, I have an interest in reading this. Do I have it? I don't know, so I'm just gonna switch to this beautiful edition. The Fountainhead. No, no. Picture of Doreen Gray, I've read. So I guess I'm gonna remove this book because I read the audiobook. Um, and I've read it before as well, but it, it should be in my read books of this year, so that's fine. Emily Dickinson Letters, yeah, I'm interested. Death of Grass, I read last year. and was one of my favorite books and absolutely loved it. Um, but I'm thinking I've got like a different edition 
somewhere else so I can remove this one and then it'll be okay because it'll still be on my list. Pride and Prejudice, again, I have another edition of this probably on like a currently reading kind of situation. Yes, I've got this on. Oh my God, I love it so much. Okay, Tortoise and the Hare was like a beautiful book I used to own and I definitely bought it for the cover. Um, and then a, a year ago, I actually looked at the summary. I was interested at the time, I guess, but not anymore. What is up with all this Steinbeck? Hexengint. This is a children's book that I read as a kid. Uh, probably one of the reasons I am obsessed with like historical witch books. And I still have it and I have read it. So I'm not sure why it's on my TBR. Um, I might actually remove it because I have the book. So I'll, I'll remember that I have it. The Room. Don't really remember that, but I can go. The Street of Crocodiles is what the Jonathan Suffren Foer book that is all the like pages with cut out holes is based off of. So he took the Street of Crocodiles and then cut out words and then that made an, a new book. I haven't seen that book. I wonder where it is. That was a limited edition and I'm sure, I'm sure I still have it. I don't very frequently go through my shelf that is like my red books. So I don't see them very often. I bet it's somewhere in the back. I would not have gotten rid of that. But at the time I thought, oh, maybe I will read the one that it's based on. And I'm not, I'm not going to. I am just not going to. Ernest Hemingway. This is hilarious. I read some Ernest Hemingway and I was not interested. Uh, Poems of the Sea. I mean, that sounds nice, but Cat's Cradle, do I have that? I think I have it. I don't own Cat's Cradle because I have, okay, we'll get rid of that. The Stranger, Albert Camus, sure. Lord Byron, The Major Works. Yeah, I'll read that. I used to have that at uni and I'm sure I read some of it. It's as long gone, as long gone. Fuller understanding of the paintings at the Orsay Museum. I have that. I'm going to take it off my TBR, but I do still own that and I will keep that. The Last Man. So really keen to read this. I definitely read some of it at uni. Oh, these covers are something. Um, I have the Oxford edition, which I'm sure will show up here. No. Oh, this is the Oxford World's Classic. Well, I have a different cover. Anyway, I'll leave it. That's fine. Definitely leaving that on the TBR. Um, it's an apocalyptic book about the world ending, the last people being there. Definitely want to read that. Connecticut Yankee and King Arthur's Court. That was a uni book. Mrs. Dalloway. I don't think I've ever finished that. Were we supposed to read that at uni? I'm not sure. Uh, again, I've read some of it. Oh yeah, here we go. Into the Wild. I used to have Into the Wild. I actually gave my copy to a friend to read and then when she reported back on what it was like, I took it off my TBR. It's gone. I've also recently come to terms with the fact that I don't think I like Shakespeare as much as I like the idea of Shakespeare. I love to see it performed, but I don't want to read all the plays and if I will, I'll do it in my own time. I've read a few Shakespeare plays again at uni, but I'm definitely more and more going to the like Austin, Brontes, that kind of vibe. So Persuasion, I have read like 80% of Persuasion. I need to finish that. The Secret Agent, I read at uni. I don't remember much and I don't have it anymore. So that's gone. Kim was a uni read. Find Pillars of the Earth. I at one point owned and gave up on, I think. The Marble Fawn. Ugh. The Marble Fawn has like secret history vibes. I don't think I enjoyed it very much. Also, the description is reflective, slow paced. We're taking it off the list. Again, I read that at uni. Anna and the Five Towns. We'll take that off. Whew, this is going great. Do I want to read anything? I do. I have so many books I want to read, but obviously me from literally 12 years ago had different aspirations, different tastes. Uh, Lady Chatterley's Lover. Sure. Sure. Do I leave that on? I think I can't get rid of that. I'll remember that that book exists. Uh, Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. I... I've read the first three and I couldn't make it past it. I did immensely enjoy the first three, uh, but I'm gonna take this off the list. Metamorphoses, I still have. Short Residence in Sweden, yep, have that. 
Memoirs of the Author of the Rights of Woman. Definitely want to read that. And again, I read most of that at uni, but I can't really remember. Then there's all my Norton anthologies uh, that I had to buy for university. I don't know why they're on my to read list because they're not ones that you read back to front. They're like collections of like the canon from a certain time period and it is a collection of all of those so you don't have to buy all the individual works by the different authors and poets and things like that. I will probably keep those forever and I love seeing the highlighted bits in it um, but it should be on my TBR. Herman Melville, no, I'm good, thank you. Oh, I don't remember this, it was of the King. I'm gonna keep that on. More Norton Anthology. Um, I always loved, I loved the covers, especially this one, the Victorian age, um, has like a Lady of Shalott painting, which I loved. And I actually got to see at an exhibition like 10 years later. The Canterbury Tales a retelling have that still but a different cover but we'll leave that midnight's children i'll leave that on there to kill a mockingbird i haven't read the monk is a classic i read at uni i'm definitely interested in maybe reading that again uh getting rid of more hitchhiker's guide the way of all flesh by samuel butler nope a Margaret Cavendish reader. That was a uni one. Don't remember that. Oh, we've got a Dutch book, Bride Flight. I'll keep that on there because I'm always interested in reading Dutch translations. The Drowned World. That's one I read at uni. And again, I don't remember that well. And I'd like to read that again, actually. Um, which is a post-apocalyptic book about a submerged London. And I think there's like pirates who go after art from the National Gallery. A lot of these books you kind of just have to be in the right mind for. I love the film adaptation. I haven't read much of Far From Man and Crowd and I potentially got rid of it at some point. I have to be quite brutal with which books I keep just because I live in London and I live in small apartments. I can't keep everything. So I kind of go, you know, are these the next 200 books I want to read? Yes or no. And then I get rid of them and, and pass them on to someone else. So potentially I had a moment where I got rid of this and actually maybe I will read this as an audiobook one day. The Tveling is also a Dutch book that has been translated into English. Uh, the Giver is gonna go. Ooh, The House on the Borderland. Yes, so I did a course that was all about apocalyptic and dystopian fiction. So now we've reached my master's. So that was four years of TBR stuff. Um, and I still have this and I would like to reread it. I remember it being very trippy. Um, I guess I'll keep the cover. I can't find the one that I have. The Beast That Shouted Love at the Heart of the World. I do believe I still have that as well. That's from the same course. It's the only edition there, so we'll keep it on that. So Like a Dobson, I do not remember. Uh, Saturday by Ian McEwan. I read that and did not enjoy. That was at uni as well. Great Expectations, I have read and was fine. I'm not, I'm not a Dickens fan. The Time Machine, I actually have not read. I'm slowly making my way through some H2L stuff because I have a really good audiobook at the moment. I'm listening to The War of the Worlds, read by David Tennant, which is just so fun. And I, yeah, I have this edition of it. It's, it's very pretty. Um, but I'll probably end up listening to it in this same audiobook collection, to be honest. I understand this is very like admin -y, but I love seeing other people do this. Okay, Lord of the Rings, love the movies not that interested in the books. I did do a whole course about the inspiration for Lord of the Rings, which is probably why this is um, on my list. I am more, again, interested in the concept of Lord of the Rings than actually reading the books. Uh, the second in the Inheritance trilogy, the Aragorn trilogy, I have read number one and two multiple times. I have not made it to three yet, so I will... I guess this is on my to-read list. That's fine. The Vampire trilogy, oh, Cirque de Freak, which I love which I'm just gonna have to put on red because I have read that, but many, many, many years ago. And one of my favorite books as a kid. The Falling Man, Don DeLillo. I think this was my like contemporary literature course. Um, I read that. I can't remember much. I am removing it. Uh, White Teeth by Zadie Smith. I have not read, but I would like to. I've got this edition. The Inferno. You know when you just put The Inferno on your TBR? 
removing that. The Compound was a Y book that was really popular and really like intense. Uh, I wanted to read it at the time. I am good for now, I think. Mr. Penumbra's 24 hour bookstore classic. Again, someone that I know recently read it and gave me a review. And from that review, I decided it is not for me. I definitely am doubling down on like historical, sci-fi, apocalyptic, but also translated fiction, a bit of literary fiction, some classics. That's kind of the realm that I'm, and, and comics, graphic novels. Uh, the Complete Mouse, mm, I didn't love Mouse. I have read it, but I am deleting it from here. Expo 58, I was interested in because it was set at the World Expo, but I never got quite through it. Uh, the Infatuations, I don't remember. I'm going to remove that. Some of these books, I definitely like White Dog, Fire From The Sky. I got as a proof copy once. I don't have any more, so let's get rid of that. The Wild Things, I don't know anything about that. And I am choosing to keep it that way for now. Uh, we the Drowned, I've had for a long time, a historical novel to do with the ocean. I'll, I'll keep it on. I still have a copy. Uh, Caesarean by Tommy Vieringa is a Dutch book in translation. Weird cover here. Uh, we'll keep that. Hyperion by Dan Simmons. I don't remember that. On the world called Hyperion, beyond the lake of the hegemony of man, there waits the creature called the Shrike. There are those who worship it, there are those who fear it, and there are those who have vowed to destroy it. In the valley of the time tombs, where huge brooding structures move backward through time, the Shrike waits for them all. Whoa, that sounds intense. I must have gotten this as a recommendation from someone, so I'll leave it on there. Child 44, no. The Dinner, I have already read, so I guess I do. I'm always scared I'm going to be like deleting books from my uh reading challenge from that year so i might leave it graveyard book yeah interested uh the bossy brug is another dutch book what a cover and also a, a famous dutch film oh it's the only cover there is so we're keeping it i guess i'm not against reading the book thief i just again i think it might be one of those that might just not be for me ocean at the end of the lane i'm, not, I'm gonna get rid of that for now uh out of the easy by rudis the petties get rid of that for now as well hyperbole and a half um again it's just not like this i absolutely loved like a few years ago it's just not my current taste why the hell is allegiant i still haven't read allegiant this is so embarrassing i'll find the right cover uh switch to this edition we're keeping it on darkest minds i'm getting rid of as well don't want to I want to carefully decide which trilogies I want to start, basically. Stargirl was probably on here because it was gonna be an adaptation or something. That's why I put it on there. The Invisible Man. Um, I recently watched that film with Elizabeth Moss, Invisible Man, which I thought was all right, interesting, but I'm, I'm interested in reading the book. King Lear is going. Julius Caesar is going. I'll leave the poetry on there just because I own it. Okay, let's, let's have a quick look at where we're at number wise i feel like i might be coming to a point where this is gonna this video is gonna be too long 612 books okay let's make it to 600 and then we'll call it a day uh seraphina dragons still interested fellow again we're removing shakespeare from this list uh monsters of men yes i want to read that half bad i am okay Richard the Third, goodbye. I want to read some more George Orwell, but I don't know if books versus cigarettes is the one. Always Emily is about Emily and Charlotte Bronte, I believe. That's interesting. I forgot that that existed. Um, we'll leave that on there. Eleanor and Park, I have heard some not so great things about that. So I think I'll be deleting that. The War of the Worlds. Oh my God, currently reading. I hadn't updated that yet, I think. Or maybe a half, but with a different edition. The Madness. Yeah, I want to finish reading that at some point. It's a historical YA. Middlesex by Jeffrey Eugenides. Yeah, I do own that. Mm, love the Virgin Suicide, so I would like to read more. I think I have this version. What's my ideal bookshelf? Nah, that can go. I got rid of the Engel Force, like, number one trilogy, but I think I would like to remember that it exists uh some new artemis fall stuff yeah i want to read that <laughs> just put all the artemis fall books on there why not 
Strange and Beautiful Stories of Ava Lavender. I still have California. That's interesting. Soulmates. I'm not really into contemporary YA that much. Uh, Lagoon by Nadia Crawford. I have wrecked this journal everywhere. Why is it on my to read list? Goodbye. Um, the Lemon Grove. I had a proof copy of that. I don't know what this is. We'll leave that for now. I've actually read quite a few Hollyborn books. I really enjoyed them. And I think... I might have read this one. Okay, I think I might leave it at that. I'll do a really quick scroll. Um, so this is when I started working at Hotkey for sure, because there's a few Hotkey titles coming up. So that's my first job in publishing. Um, there's just so many books on here that I'm like, yeah, maybe I'll read that one day. Like I'm not against the idea of the book, but I probably had a physical copy of it and I got rid of it. Or I just have books in the same genre that I'm more interested in at this point in time. A lot of Dutch books coming up here. Um, oh my God, I put just random stuff on this list that now I go, why was I interested in that? I think sometimes you're just scared of forgetting that a book exists and so I put it on my to read list. Um, okay, yeah, we're gonna end it there, I think. So that's looking good. We are now under 600 books, um, many more to go, but maybe it gave you some inspiration to dig through your own TBR. I'm gonna keep going and I'm gonna delete so, so much. This feels very freeing, it's very nice. And it's just interesting to see how your taste changes and something that maybe at one time seemed incredibly appealing and really fun. Now I'm like, I don't really wanna spend my time reading that. I feel like I'm in a time machine and looking back at my past self and because I was already making videos at that time, I have, I feel like quite vivid memories of what I was like. I just feel like the older you get, so I'm 32 now and I would have started making this TBR when I was 19. You just get to know yourself so much better and I think very often early on in my reading, I, again, there wasn't that much booktube so I wasn't really sure where to get recommendations and I feel like I was just kind of reading in the dark and I would find good stuff sometimes but now, I feel like there's such excellent pre-selection and that does mean that sometimes it feels like you're all reading the same book. I don't know, I, I think it's quite nice and I think I, I keep reading not better and better books, but books that better suit me. The older you get, the more you kind of have this feeling that you want to spend your time well and spend it on things that you enjoy. I would love to know what number your TBR is at. Uh, let me know in the comments and I'll see you soon. Thanks for watching. Doing.